Hey guys, welcome to the uh, week 5 RAM demo. Um, so I've added three new boards um, on here. The registers and ALU are on this left side over here. And on the right here is the testing module, which I've modified a little bit. Um, so up here is the memory address register, or the MAR. Um, so this register here holds onto the address bits that are going into the RAM. Uh, down here with these yellow wires are where the address bits are going into the RAM. So here's the RAM. Um, and then, you know, on the right here are the NOT gates and the uh, Octal Bus transceiver, which we need to, you know, uh, control the output of the, of the RAM. But the RAM itself is just uh, on this left side here. Uh, what I've done is I've wired up the inputs of the RAM uh, uh, to this testing module here instead of connecting it to the bus, and the outputs are connected to these LEDs so we can see what it is. Uh, similar, similarly, over here we have the um, uh, inputs to the memory address register uh, connected to switches as well. Okay, so the functionality of the RAM is um, fairly simple, so the demo is going to be fairly short, uh, shorter than last week at least. Um, the point of RAM is just like having an array of registers. So we're going to change like which register we're looking at, and then we're going to do the regular register functionality testing by um, by looking at you know these switches right here. Um, so yeah, so let's just uh, put it on position zero. Okay. Um, so you can see. Uh, I'm sorry about the resolution. Uh, I switched to recording this uh, on my webcam, and uh, the focus is a little bit off which I've had uh, trouble trouble rectifying. But uh, right, right over here, um, I have 0 set on the address. And so we're getting 0 into this uh, memory address register. And so the RAM itself is looking at uh, index 0. Um, once we go into in index 0, we can uh, basically mess around with what data is going into the uh, index 0 8-bit number. Um, so you can see here down at the bottom, uh, I have this uh, single switch flicked up in the uh, fifth position. Um, yeah, okay, so and I'm going to be using these two controls here to control uh, whether it's reading or whether it's writing. So this yellow here basically says turn the RAM on, so either allow for reading or writing, and then this blue uh, one controls whether it's reading or writing. So if I am putting it into uh, you know, the off position, uh, into connecting to zero volts, then it's in the reading mode. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, change it so that uh, bits five, six, seven, and eight are on, um, and then I'm gonna change it back to high, and load it in again. So it's a little bit unclear here, but four of these LEDs are turned on right now, so that's what we expect. Uh, if I change around the position, so I'll just like randomly pick like index seven by turning three of these high. Um, you can see that. Uh, well, I guess you can't see that clearly, but the LEDs are basically uh, holding some random numbers right now. Well, what we're going to do is, uh, again, we'll just pick some number. Um, I'll pick, like, I'll just set it to zero. Uh, and then I'll make the RAM read and set it back to, uh, you know, set it back to outputting. And so, whoops. And so you can see they're all off again. If I decide to, you know, put it back into the read mode, to the to the load mode, and I just put in some uh, put in some numbers here. Then, if once I'm setting it back to the output mode, um, all the bits that I put up are you know showing back in here. And the good thing about RAM is that you know it stores uh, 16 things in total. So if I want to go back to a number that I had stored, so if we go back to index zero, and I'll set you know this, I'll set this back to zero. Then once we're looking at the output again. Um, you know, now these four LEDs are on, which uh, which is the number that I had set last time. So, yeah, that's basically it for the RAM. Like, uh, it's just a bunch of registers which I can index.